welcome back to the channel and thanks for coming by guys uh today i just wanted to let you guys know kind of an update on these two trimmers that i got three years ago just a little over three years ago a uh, honda and an ego and both of them have been really good trimmers no issues with the honda at all and uh the ego the only thing i had was a bunch of debris got in the head there stuck and it wouldn't uh advance the line and it wouldn't allow it to uh self-feed so no big deal on that uh you can usually get most of the day done and i've got a third trimmer that i use if i can't get through the day but i found these uh battery packs on amazon and the first time i looked they were like 230 dollars so i didn't get one this time i looked and it was 140 dollars so i got one of those and i've also got this jackery here so i can charge on the way to the next job in my truck if i have to and you know I, I use these a lot more than the average homeowner would because we take them to do our clients that we mow for and a lot of trimming and stuff and had some questions as to what to use for line it's a 0.095 size and this is the one that ego recommends that you get and i'll leave a link for that and the extra battery in the description below but um, the last line i used was shakespeare ugly twist which actually had a little bit more height to the to the top here on that twist and that worked good but right now you can see i've just got a straight line in there because that's all i could get and you know it's a 0.095 but i don't remember what the brand name was um if you have to have that ego line then i'll leave a link like i said and so if you guys are thinking about getting a trimmer i just want to say this ego is you know really a, quite powerful it's just as powerful as that honda um the battery it doesn't really lose power as it you know loses charge it just all of a sudden quits but like i said if you get another battery for that um charge time is 45 minutes for from dead of course you want to wait until the battery cools off where you try to to go ahead and charge it so you don't have any issues there and yeah other than that they both work real good and we're gonna uh be out a couple times this week using those and i'm gonna try to replace the push more that we've got the second gas powered one it's a murray that we've had for a while now and that's still running real good but i'm just trying to um you know get away from some of the gas slowly and you know it's not a big difference but every little bit helps so thanks for coming by guys we'll see you